is up my bro Aries? welcome back to play Crastination population 148 today I am very excited to bring you guys a new series to the channel and that is Pokemon Uranium I said that really weird Pokemon Uranium version it's a fan made Pokemon game nine years in the making um, and so uh, obviously if you like follow Pokemon at all you know that this game blew up I mean, like I said, it's nine years, so I won't really say overnight, but as soon as this game released, everybody went nuts over it. It's it's different than a lot of Pokemon fan games. It doesn't just take traditional Pokemon whatever and then, you know, the 700 Pokemon that already exist and then create a new world for you to go through. They created 150 or 151, I can't remember, brand new Pokemon, new type, new moves, new, oh. They, <laughs> excuse me, I'm still sick. They went nuts on this game, uh, and I'm about to go nuts on it too, so I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. Again, this series is very much in its infancy right now, so if you guys are excited for Pokemon Uranium, if you want to see more of it in the future, I think you're going to like what you see today. Uh, but please make sure to leave some support down below in the form of liking, subscribing, commenting, whatever you want to do. Today's question of the day, of course, you can answer, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into, <coughs> into Pokemon Uranium. I press, whoa, the like... The, the thing, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the screen moves based on where I, I touch it. Yeah, anyway, we're going to press space to continue. And we're going to start this, and the thing is going to stop. Apparently, what's also cool about this, look at this. Multiple save files. You can have multiple save files if you want to. I think I'm already up to date. Options. Um, you can set the game. Yeah, we may need to turn the volume down a little bit. It was kind of loud, but uh, eh. Maybe it's fine. We'll see. Tech speed fast, blah, blah, blah. Screen size. I don't want to jack anything up. I'll, I'll check that later. Boosh. Save and exit. It's perfect. We're going to start a new game here and see what we have to do. Regular mode or Nuzlocke mode? So I put some thought into this, and I think um, for the purposes of this playthrough, I actually want to do just regular mode. I know a lot of people have been doing Nuzlockes, but I want you guys... I feel like it's kind of a waste... If there are 150 new Pokemon and we can only catch one of them per route, I want to catch all 150 slash 151. I'll have to check after this video and see which number it is, but I want to catch them all. So we're just going to do regular mode. Are you sure? Are you sure you little baby is what it's saying? Yes, I'm sure. That is what we're going to play on. That shade of green is beautiful. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Who? Oh, dude, it's, it's freaking... Look at him. Look at the... I wish I could pull off a hairdo like that. Can I? You guys think I can? For the rest of this video, we're going to. Okay. My name is Bambo. B Bambo? Bambo? Bambo. My name is Bambo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, I, I do. You can just call me Profo Pro the Pokemon Professor. Can I call you Prof B? Yo, I can't do my hair like this anymore. Uh, I'm going to call you Prof B. Prof B is here. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. If he looks like a surfer dude. He was a surfer dude. He said, do you want a free Pokemon? Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? I don't need any... <laughs> I don't need any information. Although, the controls might be good to know. I don't want to reconfigure them, though. No, no, no. I don't want to reconfigure. Fig... I don't want to reconfigure. But I would like to know the controls. Move main character, C is to confirm a choice, check things, talk to people, X is to exit, Z is to hold down, walking to run, F5 is to register something in the key items, that's really it, that's it, alright, no info needed, we're good to go then, bring it on Pro Prof B, I'm ready, you got a little, looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, I can't remember what it's called though, I feel like Taya would own it though. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. I don't even have one yet. What are you talking about? Why do you think I'm a monster? But there's no so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Uh, I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form, you're starting us with paperwork right off the bat. Who are you? 
this uh, reminds me of the person you play in Pokemon Ranger, I think. We got Lady, we got Dude, I think, and we got uh, un Unidentified. So we'll take, um, we'll take the Broski. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I will take the Broski. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me, as we always do. We will be Brosh from here on out because of that typo I made in Pokemon Volt White. Forever and forever we will be known as Brosh. And we will continue as Brosh. Oh, your name is Brosh? Uh, unfortunately, yes it is. Brosh, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. Your future is a blank slate. You fit together with Pokemon and you're going to... Are, I really can't read. There will be challenge and thrills. And you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's let go. Let, let go that way. Okay. Ten years ago, Brosh's family lived in Beale Beach City. You hear this music? It's intense. The largest city in Tandor. Tandor sounds like we're the next, uh... Yo, I love this remix music. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. What about my mama? She got green hair. Their mother, Lucia, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Brosh. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. Alright, Fallout 3, I got you. The future seemed bright until... Nuclear Meltdown! It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As a part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody's finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Yeah, strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Let's hope it's not that one. It can't just be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's nuclear It's nuclear meltdown. I was just kidding when I said that because the game is Pokemon Uranium, but that's actually what it is. There must be a breach in the reactor at this temperature. In just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Ah! Get out of here. Get out of here. Mohawk? Like, died Mohawk, but not real? Lucille, you have to leave too. Nah. Nah. She gonna run in. Alright, well. Yeah, yeah. Lucille! See ya. Well, oh! So in this game, we're actually gonna be motherless instead of fatherless for the first time ever. Every single game, it's like, where's my dad? No, nope, this time it's, uh, my mom died in a nuclear explosion, so... Maybe she'll be a ghoul later in the game. That'd be a cool crossover. Okay, with Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the react the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to search for her. Oh my gosh, freaking Chernobyl. Mm. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to Chief of Tandor Pokemon Ranges. However, he became too busy to care for his job. Daddy! Why are our parents just losers in every single game? I mean, usually the mom's pretty cool, but Dad, you I just need a father figure in my life. Just one. Oh, so young Brush went was sent to live with their elderly auntie in, in Moki Town. I can handle Moki Town. I can handle Moki Town. Ten years passed. Am I ten? Or I guess I'm a little bit older than ten because I would have been a child at this time. Auntie's health waned. Oh my gosh, my aunt's gonna die? Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo. Professor B. Oh, Ernest. That's a great name. The local Pokemon professor was looking for a research assistant. The two kids from Moki Town applied. And their a brush and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths. Youth of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Brush's journey began. That's kind of a morbid start to a Pokemon game, but... Brush, come downstairs. You are late. That's not a very good auntie voice, I guess. How, how's this room looking? Okay, this is to move around. This is to run. Nope. Apparently, we don't have running shoes yet. Gonna press all the buttons. Okay. What do we got here? C is to talk. 
Brush booter at the PC. We have item storage. We gotta have a potion, right? Every game you get one potion. Uh, how do I, is there a B button? Okay, X is the B button. X is the B button. That's gonna be very confusing. Mailbox, anybody say, no mail? Nobody loves me. What kind of system we got? A Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system. Shh, spoilers, don't tell. There's a Pokemon battle showing on TV. One of the Pokemon just mega, I wonder if this game's gonna have mega evolution. What if this game has mega evolution and Pokemon Sun and Moon don't? Jabolta, I've read all these books many times. All right, though, you don't need to read them again. Let's go downstairs <coughs> and see what auntie's doing. Auntie, I hear your health is waning. I really don't want you to die. Mm, bro, sweetie. That's my old lady voice? Um, Do you like an old man voice? Bro, sweetie. But a little bit higher, but... The is your big day, isn't it? That's better. I like it. I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones can do more so I can support both of us. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, won't allow... Wait, Cameron? Oh, it's the dude who watched my mom die. Unless he was sure. Anyway, do you celebrate your big day? I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Running shoes right off the bat. Oh, it's true. We get the running shoes. The instructions. Oh, that's not her voice. To hold Z, you can toggle the run in the menu. I'm going to toggle auto. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If you only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. No, he's probably off in binging in freaking Hawaii. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. All right. So menu. In the menu screen, we can toggle. Okay. Menu screen, we can toggle. Press Z again. Yeah. Menu screen, we can toggle auto run. And you can run inside buildings. Yo, what are you watching down here, Granny? It's a widescreen TV. I like to watch it while eating dinner. This is a framed embroidery. Home is where the heart is, and there's a heart underneath it. Grandma, auntie, you are so stereotypical. This is the, is that, I've always wondered what these things are in Pokemon games. Are they lights? Is this the light source? I don't know. We got a bed. Is this auntie's bed? I mean, at least like, for the first time ever, it's like, usually the Pokemon games are like your room and then a kitchen and a living room. And it's like, do I just share a bed with my mom? Does she sleep on the, cu the couch? Except for most games don't have couches. Does she sleep on the table? Maybe. This one actually gives my aunt a nice little bedroom. Scandalous, it's auntie's sock drawer. Oh, not them socks. Watch how we're gonna go on a sock raid. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. Pokemon Life, Pokemon Evolution, Philosophy of Pokemon. This bookshelf contains Auntie's guilty... Pleasure reading. Ooh, Fifty Shades of Dialga. The Arcanine Prince, a fiery rope. We're gonna get out of here before we get anything too weird up on this screen. Mogi Town is beautiful! Do you see this screen right now? Oh my god, it's such a freaking gorgeous town. I guess this will get me into my question of the day while I'm exploring Moki Town. Today's a nice day. Seems like it always is around here. Well, that's good. Probably too far from the nuclear winter that's, you know, a little bit north. Um, I have to, I have to ask, please. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I have to ask, uh, what is your uh, guys' favorite Pokemon fan game? Pokemon Red version? That's brand new in this generation? What a joke. Um, yeah, what's your guys' favorite? Do you know? I can't click anything in this house. Are you kidding? What is your guys' favorite Pokemon fan game? I'm guessing, yeah, I was gonna say, too dangerous to go out without a Pokemon. What am I thinking? Um, I think I'd like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. My favorite Pokemon is Cubug. It's so cute. Okay, okay. I wonder what kind of Pokemon lives in this pond. Probably just Magikarp. Don't don't get your hopes down. That does show us that there are not only new Pokemon, but there's previous Pokemon in this game as well. Or at least like references to them, excuse me. It, I'm so jealous you get to have, word, word spreads quick around this town, I suppose. I haven't told anyone yet. Children grow up so fast, not long ago, it seemed like myself. <laughs> anyway, 
um, favorite Pokemon fan game? I know you might not have played. I, I haven't played very many Pokemon fan games. Oh, you watched my mom die. Hello, Brosh. Today's the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo was certainly excited. You must be too. I remember those days all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer like you once. I'm retired, of course, but I still remember that day that your mother burned up in an atomic fireball. Anyway, go ahead. The lab is north of town. He's not very patient, so you should probably hurry along and join him. Now, I'm going to steal some things from his room first. Yo, his room looks just like mine. <laughs> it looks like Theo only has a Wii, not a Wii U. No wonder he always wants to come over to play mine. Aw, a cartoon is showing on TV. There are Pokemon wearing humans and talking like clothing. Talking... Did I just say... Can we get a replay? Did I just say there are Pokemon wearing humans and talking like clothing? I am... Oh, there's a story. I'm pretty upset with my uh, misreading there. But now we're going to read Theo's story called The Most Amazing Pokemon Train in the World. The best, most... Theo, you're one of them that's going to capitalize every word. We would not have fun texting, I can tell you that. The best, most awesome Pokemon trainer was the champion of Kanto, Johto, and Tandor. Was this before, like, Hoenn and Sinnoh and all the ones after that? was the champion of Kanto, Johto, and Tandor. He never lost it one single time. His Pokemon were strong and powerful. They were so tough that they got a new evolution called Super Mega Evolve. Everyone thought he was cool, including his best friend, Brush. Oh! This trainer's name was Theo. Could it, could it be? Could he actually be the super most awesome best trainer in the world? We're going to find out in today's episode, I suppose. What's this way? Rock smashing route three ahead. I can't go there. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I want to, but I, but I can't. I'm so excited for this game. First of all, the music sounds amazing. It looks so good. Oh, man. It is. Question of the day. Favorite Pokemon fan game. I've played. I played a Pokemon fan game called Pokemon Light Platinum once. I didn't play all the way through, but the little bit of that I did. Really good. Uh, I may bring that to the channel at some point as well. I've heard that Pokemon... Is it Insurgents? Is that the one that's really dark and you, like, sacrifice people in the beginning? It's kind of weird. But I think I've I've heard that that one is phenomenal as well, but I haven't played it. Um, but if you've played... So you're going to be the breadwinner now, eh, Brush? I should pop by to visit your auntie now and again. Oh. You and your little blue pills can stay as far away from my auntie as possible. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region, but there's so much can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. I wonder if we're going to see like, oh, new Pokemon, talk to me. No, grab it, grab it through the fence. I would love it. I would love you so much. Please continue. Hey, wait up. I thought he was ahead of me. I thought he was impatient. He was waiting in the trees for me. I don't know why, but I'm getting like a poke, like a, like a Paper Mario vibe, like the original Paper Mario. Why am I getting that vibe? I don't know. Where do you think you're going, huh? You trying to you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm getting the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Rush. So if he's 11 and he's younger than me, then we must be like 13, 14, pre-teen, right in that puberty stage, it's lovely. <gasps> We're going in. This is a lovely. Mm, it looks so pretty. Nine years in the making. This is freaking. You would have a child in. What, third grade? Fourth grade? Is this better than a fourth grade? Yes. Yes, it is better than a fourth grader. Uh, Professor B. Hey, if it isn't Brosh and uh, your friend. Did you hear when I said bra Brosh? I did like a little lip flap. That was gross. And uh, your friend. Tom Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, you can't even remember my name. It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo, Theo. You're just in time. Today's a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research. It says, isn't that like child labor laws against this stuff? Is the world Pokemon different? No. 11-year-olds can be given internships. I can't even get an internship, but 11-year-old, okay, I got it. <laughs> oh, at the Bambo Pokemon Research Labs, your job will have you traveling. Is a Bambo a type of tree? Is that why they named this? 
Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters though, you will both take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were just gonna give us a rare poke po rare powerful Pokemon. Now, now, wow, my stomach just growled like a darn Tyranitar. Now, now, don't worry, it's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Ooh, Myers-Briggs of Pokemon. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon would be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it enough talking, I just want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid, you're not very patient, are you? All right, if you want to know more about what's on the test before we can, you can talk to my aide now. Brosh, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Hold on, let me let me, let me me see what this aide says. What? Yeah, but not too long, all right? I want to take this test. Come on, man. I, I just studied. I crammed. The Pokemon trainer aptitude test sorts into basic types, defensive, offensive, and balanced. The professor will give you a starter Pokemon that best fits your battling style. Defensive trainers receive the grass type Pokemon or Chinch. It's gentle, hardy, and easy to raise. Offensive trainers receive the fire Pokemon Raptorch. It's strong and speedy, but can be hard to control. Balanced trainers receive the water Pokemon Elitux. Its calm, collected nature allows it to adapt to any situation. Choose carefully a starter Pokemon as your... Okay, so... I was gonna do a Choose Your Starter episode, but because in this game there's a test... I'm... Could, we could do a Choose Your Starter episode. I guess, and then I just choose. For this one, I'm not gonna do a choose your starter episode. Um, I think what I'm actually gonna do instead is I know that my friend, uh, Mr. Ginger Ninja, you should check his channel out by the way. I know that in his playthrough, he chose the fire type Raptorch, so we're not going to choose that type. We're gonna choose one of the other two. Brosh, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes. I am. I am ready. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Attack it right away. Wait and see what it does. Throw a Pokeball at it. I'm going to try to do a combination of like my actual personality and not red, not red answers. Wait and see what it does or throw a Pokeball. Honestly, I would probably just throw a Pokeball at it right off the bat. I am a pretty impatient person in real life. And so... And I also love collecting things, so I'm gonna say throw a Pokeball at it. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy, give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Obviously Hyper Beam, can't choose it. Hidden power for coverage is probably smarter because you can pick whatever type you want. Well, I, I don't know how hidden power works, but we're gonna go with hidden power. It looks like we're gonna get the water starter, but maybe not, maybe. Maybe with the green one is gonna be my type. Hey Professor, what's a TM anyway? Really, Theo? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon could win in an all-out battle? Hmm. <laughs> so we're choosing... I do love Gyarados. Are we choosing between Glysaur and Ampharos? Can Ampharos learn... Anything that can hit a Glysaur? Yeah, it probably can. I do love Glysaur. Or Glyscore? Glysaur? I'm gonna go with Glysaur. I do love him, but also Ampharos was one of my favorite Pokemon from second generation, so I gotta go Amphi. Is it possible to fail this test? Well, I am right now. No, it isn't. This is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Uh, in this game, I have to say probably exploring the region because I want to see its magnificence. No question about it. I'm gonna be a Pokemon master. Are you? And nobody gonna stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, I finished my analysis. Here we go. Going into a lovely little screen here. There we go. Brush. Brush. I, I think I have to pronounce it like that from now on just because I messed up earlier. Brush. You seem to be the trainer that is capable of many different strategies. You prefer to adapt to overcome challenges in your path. Your philosophy is probably to just go with the flow. Actually, like, realistically, in actual life, like, that's actually pretty, that's pretty accurate. Your calm, rational approach will come to aid you in the future for a balanced trainer like you. I love that thing. Elitux is the best pick. Elitux. 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 Do I just get it? Awesome. Yes, we do. We get it. 
Go ahead and take it, Brosh. Don't ever say that to me again. Brosh obtained Elatux. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be a way. I know there's in-game trading in this. Um, or there's supposed to be. Nintendo has done like a little cheeky thing and they blocked the site. And so it might not be working. But if it is, I want to catch all 151. That is my goal for this series is to fill our Pokedex. I'm sure they, would, they wouldn't they would make it impossible. They're not like Nintendo Game Freak that's going to make you wait for Nintendo events and stuff like that. Anyway, Brosh obtained the Elatux. Would you like to give a nickname to Elatux? Here is another important point. I will not be naming my Pokemon uh, because, like I said, there are 150 new Pokemon. If I nickname them, I'm never going to learn their names. I want to learn their names, so for this playthrough, we're not going to be nicknaming. Uh, no, we don't want to give a nickname. I'm sorry, Elatux. Oh my gosh, someone please draw. I, I say this as if I'm like big enough that people would be following me and actually draw fan art. If someone could do a picture of Elatux in a tuxedo. Can we make that happen? Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Brush got their start already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. Let's go into his screen. He's gonna get the grass type. We already know it, so don't don't beat around the bush. Theo, you while you certainly know what you want out of life, you're impulsive, impatient, and mostly care about your own desires. But I sense something in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, he gets the fire. We get the advantage on him. That's gotta be the first time they've ever done that. Uh, well, it's not Pokemon. It's a different guy, but that's awesome. Raptorch is the best pick. Yes, my first Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, Brush, you have a Pokemon. Now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. I'm sorry. That is lovely. This is lovely. This is lovely. This is lovely. All right, we're going to end this one with this battle against rival Theo. He's going to send in his Raptorch. He's got no chance against our Elatux, so. Dude, beautiful animations. What is Elatux going to do? It's going to fight. It is going to... We get Water Gun right off the bat. I'm sorry, Raptorch. You're going to Ember. So I'm, I'm guessing Elatux either starts as Water Electric or is eventually going to be Water Electric. That's an interesting... Wa oh, we one-shot his Raptorch. Um, he's going to be real upset. He's going to cry. 69 experience points. Brash defeated rival Theo. What? But, but I'm supposed to win. Give me 350 bucks, kid. But, but how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. I, I wrote it in my memoirs. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I, I... <laughs> Don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. What a nice guy. Doo -doo -doo. What a great guy. I, I, I wanted to be a, an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and brushes, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way, I want to do over. How come Brash gets the better starter? Ooh, this isn't fair. I'm going home. See you later, you little snot no brat. Oh, sigh. He took that harder than I hoped. I purposely gave him the weaker starter so that you could smack him down. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him, he's just a kid after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 01 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. See you later, Brush. Next episode, we're going to catch... Well, we already have our first Pokemon. Let's take a look at him. Let's take a look inside. Take a look around in the, in the Pokemon, da 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 Elatux Summary, he is water electric, he's bashful, there's those things, are those his, is that the IV spread? Yo, I hope this guy is a, I hope this is a special attacker because look at those special attack IVs, it looks like he's more special and defensive, he's pretty well rounded and we have static as an ability. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here, thank you guys so much for watching, like I said, series episode one needs all your support so that i can know if you guys want to continue it if not i'll just play it in my free time but if you guys want to see more of this game please leave me some comments down below saying yo you can even leave me a link to the gif of freaking shia labeouf screaming do it if you want to if you want me to continue the series uh also make sure to leave a like down below because that is another metric that allows me to know whether or not you guys are enjoying a series or not anyway 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. Join the flock of Braviaries. What if Braviary is in this game? He might be, I don't know. But at any rate, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.